Many thought the fight for same-sex marriage was over. Many couples are still waiting in Idaho. This afternoon, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals recalled its mandate following an emergency stay issued by the U.S. Supreme Court early this morning. That recalled mandate had ordered county clerks to start issuing same-sex marriage licenses, but it's all on hold again. Local News 8's Bree Clark is live outside the Bonneville County Courthouse. Now, Bree, there weren't any lines for same-sex marriage licenses today, we understand, but uh, you saw several protesters there, right? Well, Jay, you know, there were a dozen or so protesters here on these steps earlier today, all disappointed that the state decided to file that emergency stay earlier this morning. So a lot of their marriage plans were put on hold, but they say the fight is still on. Standing with flags of pride hand in hand, Cherie and Katie Paulson say, according to the federal government, they are legally married after getting a license in Utah. But they want that same right in Idaho. Is not to push our way on anybody, but just to be equal as humans. Especially since they will soon have a newborn. But legally, Idaho hospitals can refuse to recognize them both as parents, keeping Cherie out of the delivery room. I can't make any decisions for her. I can't decide to give her blood if she needs blood. I can't decide to help the infant when he's born. I can't decide any of these things. But activists say these issues go beyond same-sex marriage. It's an argument of equality the At The Words campaign says needs to be fought in the legislature. Adding marriage does not end discrimination. And there will still be discrimination as long as those words are not added to the Idaho Human Rights Act. So although legalizing same-sex marriage is a great victory, more work is to come. We are also planning on being on the bridge again every Wednesday, starting when the legislature goes into session, to uh, speak out and say, you know, we here in Idaho Falls really feel strongly that we need to add those words. But until then, many say any victory is a win. And even with the stay, two people in Twin Falls were issued a marriage license. That's before uh, the county did decide or hear from the state that there was a stay in motion. So those people do have their marriage license. But here in Bonneville County and other counties across the state, they'll just have to wait until the Supreme Court makes a decision. Live at the Bonneville County Courthouse, I'm Bree Clark. Thank you, Bree. The Supreme Court has given the state of Idaho until tomorrow evening to issue a response that argues why same-sex marriage should not be legal in Idaho. Well,